Hello everyone, I'm Mackenzie Foster and on this edition of Trojan Talk we're actually joined by Mr. Luke Jones and Mr. Willie B. Williams Jr. about an upcoming leadership conference that's coming up. So thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank, thank you for you. having me. Can you give me a little bit of insight of who might be coming this year? Sure, we have a great lineup of speakers this year. Um, our Friday keynote speaker will be Mr. Rodney Bullock. He is the CEO of the same house. It is based out of Atlanta, Georgia and the same house they um, built with back in the community. We have Michelle Summers, who will, um, in her name itself, it says Michelle Speaks Life, and that's what we are looking for her to come and speak to us about, is to give us life. Um, we will also have some preliminary speakers or breakout session speakers. One of those would be Salam Green, who is an Alabama road poet. We have Dr. Henry Terry, who will be doing a, um, a workshop with the older adults on um, spirituals, the meaning of those spirituals, the lyrics, and he will also have some vocalists who will be singing some of the lyrics of those songs. And now it sounds like there's a lot of inspiration coming to the leadership mm -hmm. conference. So just one big question, what is the actual goal of the conference that you'd like everyone to take away from it? The goal of the conference is to get individuals, students, parents, anyone to come and take um, some of these techniques, some of these skills, some of these leadership skills, take them, receive them, and be able to impl implement those into their everyday life, whether it's at home, as you mentioned, or at school, in their marriages, in their relationships, on their jobs to take those leadership skills so that, that we can continue to have good leaders in the world. And so, you know, on Troy's campus, Mr. Lewis, you know, we have a building named after yes. him. There's a mural in the building. Mm -hmm. um, a very powerful man. Very. People have a lot of great things to say about him. So why exactly does this leadership conference bear his name? Well, about two years ago, the committee members, we came together and we decided that we need to do something in John Lewis' honor. So we came together and we thought, we said, you know what? We're going to change their name to the John R. Lewis Leadership Conference. So two years ago, the name was officially changed to the John R. Lewis Leadership Conference by him being the boy from Troy. So now we go by the John R. Lewis Leadership Conference. So that's how that came about. Absolutely. And you know, it is very powerful. There's a lot of inspirational people yes. coming. So is there anybody who can attend, just about anybody? Yes, the event is for all ages. Um, we encourage the young adults to attend as well as older adults because we're going to have great session speakers. So we invite uh, people of all ages to come and attend. Do you have any advice for people who want to be a leader, want tips on how to be a leader, but don't necessarily know how to make that jump? Get out of your comfort zone. Um, some, a lot of times we like to stay in our comfort box because so, that's where we feel safe. But as you know, leaders, they break barriers and they break down walls. And so that's what we're hoping that people get from the conference this year is that self-esteem and that push to be good, effective leaders in society. Yes. So what do people need to know in order to attend this amazing conference? Well, they can register, go on the Troy University website. Uh, we have a place there that you can register for the conference, or you can come by my office, which is the Troy PR and Tourism Office. My name is Willoughby Williams, along with Sheila Jackson, so you can register there, or you can contact Barbara Patterson with Student Services. Absolutely, and it sounds like it's going to be an amazing conference, so I wish you guys and everybody that's going good luck. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank, thank you, you for, having for having us. Absolutely, and thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Trojan Talk.